how much improvement has JB made? A lot, but he's he's really worked at it. Um, you know, he's JV is such a great kid. I mean, he really is a is, is a high character kid. Works his tail off. Comes from an unbelievable family. Uh, that's important. Uh, their their character character matters, man. He's a um, uh, he's he's one of those yes sir no sir kids that um, the more you get on him, uh, he just um, takes it and keeps going. You know he's you know his his motor's gotten so much better. You know when he got here, you know he's he played hard, but he didn't know how to compete. Um, you know the thing about rebounding is when the ball hits the rim, it becomes a competition. Uh, like the first. Ten minutes against uh, Alabama, uh, they were out competing us on the boards. But from the ten minutes on, on I think we out rebounded them for the next thirty minutes because we out competed them. You know, it's a competition. Every, everything's a competition in basketball. Um, you know, we had with uh, but Terrence is not there yet, but he's a freshman. You know, I, I look around at the country at all these freshmen. You know, I wish I, I wish I could uh, consult with their families and tell them to leave them alone. Let them fail. Let them get through their adversity. You know, don't try to save them or help them. Let them have it. it it's good for them. You know, it's so good for them. But there's, there's so many parachutes out there. You know, sometimes, sometimes you don't need to parachute because they're, they're going to get it. They're going to fail at some point. You know, I think the earlier the better. Um, JVA sat on the bench last year. People forget Jamal Shedd sat on the bench. You know, Terrence Arsenault is getting to play way more than uh, Jamal Shedd did. You know, but the problem, here, here's the biggest problem with these kids, is what other people are saying that have no idea what they're talking about. You know, it's like Terrence had that great game against Oregon, right? So what do you think people were saying after that? What do you think? Really? Oregon didn't guard him. They played the zone. There was nobody within 10 feet of him every shot he took. Now, this team guarded him tonight. Look what he did. He turned it over four times. There's a lot of difference playing against a zone with no pressure versus somebody up into you. Terrence isn't very good against pressure right now. You know? So is he ready for uh, being a pro? Of course not. But the problem is everybody thinks he is. So now you're, fa you're facing these expectations. Um, and, and Terrence knows he's not. Um, and I wish people would quit writing that stuff. You know, it's um, it's growth. You got to grow. You know, um, I remember when this one here was a freshman. You know, his his uh, he was playing on some some really good players. But what year in school is he? What year is this for Marcus? I'm asking you guys questions now. I mean, you ask me, I answer yours, right? Well, you got to answer mine. What year is Marcus? Okay, come on, snap up, fellas, wake up now. What year is Marcus? Okay, Andy, did you answer? Okay. Okay, senior, fourth year. Okay, fourth year. How good was he in his freshman year? Pretty good, but not nothing special. Okay, well, look at what year's Terrence? Yeah. yeah, I was watching uh, Memphis play the other day. Memphis has gone from having the youngest team, the oldest team in college basketball. They're really good. I mean, they're really good. But they have all older players. I mean, they're really good. The older you are in basketball, the better. I keep going back to the year we went to the Final Four when <clears throat> Kentucky and Duke had those great recruiting classes. Well, neither one of them made the tournament because they had a bunch of Terrences. They had a bunch of Jerrises. You're not going to win with them dudes. You're just not. But everybody thinks you should because of where people do what? Come on, follow me now. They raid them. So they, if they're pros, they got to be really good. No, they're not. They're going to be good five years from now. And the NBA don't care how good they are now. They just, have, they just care how good they think they can be five years from now. So what they're going through now is failure. So don't be disappointed in them. Don't act like they did something wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. They're 19 years old. If, uh, if I was in the last year of my contract and I had to start five ter ter terraces, I would get the four cell sign up. Because I get fired. You're going to get fired playing with those dudes against the schedule we play. Because you're going to lose. They're not ready to help you win yet. But everybody says, yeah, but so and so said he's going to be 
uh, projected to be here in the draft. He must. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with Terrence. He is a freshman on a top ten team in the nation. Think about all the teams he played last year at Beaumont United. How many of them teams are on our schedule? Did he look good against last year? How many of them do we play? Nobody. Those kids out there tonight, the Watson kid, number four, would have been a starter at Oklahoma State. He's top 50 high school player in the nation. The transfer portal has screwed up um, what transparency is now. If transparency is if you're not, if you're in this conference, you're not very good. Well, take that out now. Everybody's got good transfers. The portal has changed uh, the way um, college basketball, the perception of college basketball, you know. But I, I feel bad for a lot of these uh, kids at some of these schools that people think should be one and done, <clears throat> you know. If Jarris Walker was to stay here three years when he came out, he would be a monster, a monster. Because he'd be two years older than he is now. He'd have 30-some games this year, 30-some games next year, and then he's looking at the, his third year. You know how good he'd be? Well, this year, a lot of people say, I thought he'd be better. I didn't think he'd be better. He's exactly what I thought he'd be. He is a freshman. Marcus is our best player. Our second best player is probably um, Jamal. <laughs> you know? Uh, you know, it's, it's not Terrence, it's not Jairus. Next year they might be. But everybody's trying to push these, all these, not just, I'm not just talking Terrence and Jairus, I'm talking about all the schools. You know, everybody sets these kids up for failure, uh, fans set them up for failure because they get disappointed because they're not better. They are what they are. 